you guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Congrats on the movie. It was it was fantastic. It truly was. And Michelle, I'll ask you the first question. You said that the script was nothing like you had ever read before. And I'm curious, in what way was it different for you? Well, Patrick has a very um, distinct voice and um, his writing style and how he is able to come combine these sort of disparate tones and create these, um, this sort of, you know, people who are, have sort of, are some, all of them somewhat lonely and disconnected and, and, and somehow finding each other. And um, I just thought it was so unusual. Yeah, I think that that was what was fun to watch is that you didn't really know where the movie was going. And then you know, a new storyline comes up or a new character knocks at the door and it just, it just opens up this, this new adventure. And I, I, I found it funny and, and quirky at the same time. It was really great. Um, Aza, for you, with, why were Michelle and Lucas so perfect for, for this role for you? I think reading the book as well, um, I was struck by how independent, how self um, how they how all these characters really moved by the beat of their own drum that really dictated them their own paths yeah the relationship between francis and malcolm i just love and i like to think that i have a little bit of francis in me but lucas tell me a little bit about malcolm and and the relationship that malcolm and francis have with one another and in any way did you relate to the character that you play yes i relate too much to the character cool. and um <clears throat> I would say I relate, I relate to feeling that sort of like, um, uh, it, earlier on in my life, not being able to take ownership of my own life. I, I asked this question to Valerie and Danielle, and I'm very curious uh, with you guys as well, but because we see the witch in the movie and we see you communicating with the other side, I'm curious, have you ever spoken to a medium before or played with a Ouija board or maybe a psychic or had a card reading? Is that, is that something, you know, you're into? I know I don't, I'm not going to share. Um, <laughs> but it, there, it was fa kind of fascinating, I have to say. And I've had a few readings that were kind of mind blowing. Yes. Keep it to yourself. Lucas, you were going to answer the same question. I, I yes, I have had a reading too. That was the second I stepped into it was like mind blowingly clear um, and felt deeply true. Last question I'll ask, and Michelle, this is for you. You are returning to TV and you're playing Betty Ford um, in the Showtime uh, series is coming out. Was it, is it nerve wracking for you to play such an iconic and, and legend when it comes to um, Betty Ford? It is. And you don't really think about that until you commit. <laughs> and I'm now doing a deep dive into it. And I, you know, I take it, I, I take it seriously. This is, this is, it's important. It, it's um, a real person who has family and who was an incredibly important part of our history, our American history. And so um, I'm honored, but um, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.